my place to start this vlog for a while now. As you can see from behind me, there is no quiet place in Tokyo, especially not in the morning. I don't know what time it is. It must be like 8 a.m., 9 a.m. early. I woke up super early and I couldn't go back to sleep. Uh, got some breakfast from the konbini where I thought I was going to be filming because they have this small area where you can eat. Turns out you can't film in there, so... Uh, guess what I had for breakfast? Onigiri. I know, it's probably plain to a lot of you guys, but you have no idea how much I love onigiri. I don't know why. Love it. Love the seaweed, love the rice, love what's inside most of the time. Did I sleep well? I slept okay, uh, as well as I could, considering it's a hostel, people coming in, people coming out, they do their best not to make noise, but I still wake up, and also it's not the coldest place in the world. Hell is so hard, I keep waking up with my ears hurting, my neck hurting, but I'm not gonna complain, it's a place to sleep. I slept a few, I think I got a few hours sleep, still need a little more, clearly, but jet lag and everything. I'm um, starting to work out how I'm gonna, you know, go from my suitcase to my locker to the bathroom to the bed. Like everything is a bit of a puzzle, and I go back and forth a lot of different things that I keep forgetting. But I'm starting to put out a technique in place, and soon enough I'll have a routine. Maybe after two weeks, just gonna have to go. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm still a bit sick, runny nose, but getting better. I'm wearing one of these today. My cousin calls it diaper face. <laughs> I guess it kind of does look like a diaper. Um, but I think that's it for now. I looked at my map, I tried to plan out my day, but I'm still a bit iffy on what I'm gonna do. The priority is to get a SIM card, obviously, you need some Wi-Fi. I'm heading towards Akihabara, which is right there, Akihabara Station. Uh, and the priority is to go to Big Cam to get a SIM card, but it's still early, so I'm just gonna walk around and uh, figure things out, get used to it. I'm getting this uh, same thing I got last time, like this weird, I don't want to make a stupid mistake in front of a lot of people feeling, but here I am. Oh, it's actually kind of hard now. <laughs> but here I am filming in public. Beautiful day, a bit cold, a bit windy, but we're gonna miss like, most of it. Day one in Japaniku. <sighs> let's do this, let's figure this out. No, no fear, no fear, do it. don't be shy, do it. <laughs> I think today is going to be Akihabara, maybe Ueno because it's not too far away but it's only mostly going to be like figuring things out and yeah Exactly, but 
I'm in Akihabara and uh, this is the spot where all the trains are. Some there, some right there, and then they cross right there and it's just a beautiful view and then this beautiful river. I have no clue which one. At this point, Simina? Could it be? Wakanda? I don't know. I've definitely been standing here for way too long, so now I need to find out where I need to go. Because I think I got lost in the process of looking for trains. Um, underneath the trains. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm gonna go this way. I, I don't know where I'm going. This way seems like a good plan. Please don't run me over. <laughs> Part of the adventure, isn't it? And I always get lost somehow. So I don't know. Let's go this way. first one was near Mach. I don't know how you say that. It sounds Flemish. I'm gonna say it in the Flemish way, like Mach, Mach, it cute. And this is Itchy. So perfect for train spotting. Because here we have a little Yamanote line. It's basically a Kiabara station, I think. I wanna see more trains. anything uh, this time either but this is more of the Akihabara that I know with a lot of people a lot of noise I can hear it is it there I think it's there yeah I found it told you I could hear it right there that's where I'm going Tell me how to pronounce it. I finally went in there and it was really interesting because it's an old station turned into this fancy boho shopping mall. So I really recommend you see it, uh, go inside a little bit. But the main attraction for me obviously are the trains. And um, even though they say you can see the trains from like this private platform inside the mall, I think the best place to see the trains are from the bridge that you saw. Do the earlier this morning, so it's up to you. I don't know if you like this angle, probably not the most flattering for me, but I like the blue sky and the buildings and the trees. Yeah, I'm starving, haven't eaten yet, don't know what time it is, past 1 pm. So I'm gonna hunt down some food, but I think I'm gonna go to uh, Jingle Joe now, I think. battery is almost dead. See how fast they go. Only have two batteries. So. Yeah. <laughs> I have 
have to blow my nose, but everywhere there are people. I need to blow my nose. So I found my way to an area called Jinbojo, and I just had my very first Japanese style curry at this place right here called Ethiopia. It's really simple, you just buy your ticket at the entrance and then you get served really fast. The only thing is that the ticket vending machine is all in Japanese, so you kind of have to figure out what it says from the photos. But curry is curry, you just have different meats typically, and there's one which is vegetarian, which is the vegetable curry. It was quite nice. I'm weird for me to say but I'm not the biggest fan of curry uh, the spices so I'm not that I dislike it just not my favorite thing but it was something that I wanted to do and since I'm in Jinbojo eating having curry is one of the things that you have to do as well as visiting secondhand bookstores which is what I'm going to do now if I can find them so <laughs> I've been looking up some addresses gonna put them in my phone and I'm going to try to figure it out oh yeah do we for the curry thing, is it normal that they serve you a potato with butter before the meal? I did not understand that. Well, they're supposed to eat it before, like, after? Anyway, I took like the least spiciest curry ever and I still have my tongue tingling, so be careful of that. But I'm a, I'm a lightweight when it comes to curry for sure. Okay, gotta change my battery now for, and uh, find, find the books. Find, find the books. No of curry spices everywhere um, so that was a good street that was cute cute little street now I need to figure out where the books are with my sense of direction which is not good not good corner from it. Uh, it's recommended, I'm not sure exactly why, but I heard there was a pretty good stationery store somewhere. So I'm keeping my eye out for that. Let's see if I can find it. It would be cool. Okay, too many people. Damn it, I found a Daiso. Should I even go in? Uh, I've already spent so much money. transportation than I thought then I might invest in like a one day pass or a three day pass and just ride the metro to death but right now the sun is setting I'm back in the main almost the main part of Akihabara and there's a art gallery that I want to see because apparently it's in an old high school building I'm gonna see if I can find it and I'm also gonna see if I have enough time to visit it before it closes because places like gardens and museums I think they close a little earlier had the thing had the same uh, situation last time I came here, so I need to figure that out soonish. And also, if you can remember from my last vlogs, it gets dark really, really early, so filming not so fun. But I think I'm done with most of my visits. I'm gonna stay around at Kebada during the nighttime because I think it's gonna be fun uh, and also light enough for me to keep filming. So yeah, a lot of people look at me. I'm in like the main. <laughs> yeah, I need to get used to it and people need to get used to it. I mean, I'm a foreigner and I'm vlogging, so you're Okay, I know I'm going to the art gallery, but look what I found. Oh, I shouldn't. I've already spent too much today. I should save it for another day. Maybe. Yeah. Uh, I'll ask you Yes, that's it. Uh, 
270ありがとうございますいや、I got one That does a good one So good So good Did I miss my street? Did I? I'm not even sure I couldn't help myself It was too delicious Expensive, but delicious Probably a tourist trap Let me see If I remember, I had to go right Did I just go left? Was it left right or right left? Jeez guys, I'm so bad at directions I'm gonna go this way And then I'm gonna check I think it's probably one of my favorite things Daifuku It's just so delicious came here for the high school but the main exhibition at the moment was really cool and right now I'm walking down the, t <laughs> the bicycle lane <laughs> hope the guard is not gonna tell me off but I'm out of here I'm leaving sir weirdo is leaving <laughs> I don't know where I'm going now back to Akihabara I think my nose is really red <laughs> find this place again for the past half hour not as easy as it seems but I found it and now I can look at trains and take photos yes yes hi <laughs> while we're waiting for nightfall do you want to see want to see the few things that I bought I'm trying to figure out where all my money went today but it was mainly the sim card food uh, the subway and then Don Quixote. I bought <laughs> I bought a few things in Don Quixote and I'm going to show you now. Can you see? Can you see? It was two plastic things and one thing that I really had to buy. Had to. You'll see why. So I bought some face masks my skin is a disaster and I really need to hydrate it especially after the plane I don't know why I bought this one it says baby and uh, baby-ish and I don't mind having a baby some skin I just hope I still won't break out more because I've been having some weird breakout issues I bought this thing that everyone's talking about because the eye mask that uh, the hostel gave me is so scratchy it's horrible so I'm gonna try these things I don't think they're supposed to stay all night long but I'm gonna give it a try and if it can make me sleep better tonight I'm all for it so cool. and then this is 
the impulse buy. Of course. Can you see it? They had a little Pokemon collection and I bought a little lip gloss. Not that I need it, but I mean, come on guys. Do you know me at all? You know that, that I love Pokemon things and Pikachu especially. Oh, almost dropped it. And this because also this is really cute. They had a lot of random Pokemon things, but this one, even when it's over, I can keep the little box. It's really adorable. Oh my god. Okay, it smells really bad, but look at this. It's really really kitsch oh it's so it's so corny but let's give it a try oh i see so there's the red and then there's a gloss i think around it i don't know if i'm going to use it because it smells really bad but little impulse buy i don't know what i'm going to do right now um, until night falls. I want to see the trains. I really, really do want to see the trains. Sorry if you can hear me. I want to see the trains and the nightfall and the city lights. I really want to see that. And then, I don't know. Probably walk around. I'm getting a little tired. I could use a good shower and stuff. But I'm not ready to go back to that hostel. It's not very homey. It's not a place I want to stay in more than I need to. So, I'm going to hang out. Maybe my feet are dying and I still need to walk back to the hostel, so 